What's going on YouTube? How you guys doing? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. I'm going to go live here on Instagram as well. Click and go live. Sent to the day today. Drop them. I am ashamed of myself. I actually didn't wear a fragrance today. I had so many freaking errands to run today. It was ridiculous. But a good day. A very good day. Somebody actually asked me, what are you wearing today? And I said, wow. Can't believe it. I might, I might as well be naked, you know, at that point. Might as well be naked. Um, so today is an interesting video, actually a very good video. A very good video, a live stream, I should say, right? Um, Arabian Oud fragrances, a lot of first impressions. But more importantly than that, finally managed to collaborate with somebody who does worldwide shipping, who is reliable. I've been testing this guy. I've been purchasing from this guy personally. I know him personally um, for, I would say, about eight to nine months now. And everything's been good. Uh, his shipment has been fantastic. His prices are phenomenal. And it's, I mean, he's got like even some of these elite blend fragrances that I recently purchased in Saudi Arabia. So I figured this is a great time to make this video so you guys can get literally almost every single fragrance I get nowadays. So anything that you guys see me pick up from Saudi uh, should be available now. So that's awesome. I've been working really hard at trying to make this happen, and we finally managed to make it happen. Uh, props to him because he started uh, with a much smaller uh, website, much smaller demographic, et cetera, different brands, and now he's finally ready, and we are finally ready. So the site is called, and the legitimacy, I, you know, I stand for his legitimacy. I've purchased probably over $5,500, maybe $6,500 worth of fragrances from him. So um, today, let me just give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what we're doing today. What's going on, chat? Nikos, how you doing, brother? We're going to be doing first impression unboxings on a lot of these fragrances from uh, Arabian Oud. For the most part, I bought them because I enjoyed them at initial whiff, but I don't really remember exactly what they smelled like. We're going to go a little bit in depth to just talk about some of the notes, etc. cetera. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at some of the fragrances from the website. Uh, code is aromatics five. You can save 5% off their prices are extremely fair. It's actually lower than the website itself. So, um, here it is. Good eye, Jack. Uh, Rosasi, it's essential. You know, what's crazy is I've had that review ready for like a month and I just never posted it yet, but it's coming. Yeah, it's, it's good. Why well, sell Lomo team? Um, okay. So this is the website. Let's add it to the stage. It's called Perfume 600, Perfumes, plural, okay, 600.com. Um, Arabian Oud, so Perfumes, 600.com. Uh, Arabian Oud, Qisla Perfumes, Ajma, Atiyab uh, al you know, uh, what is it called? Oud Elite. There is Al Majd Al Oud, Al Majd Al Oud, Al Majd Lil Oud. Um, there's Atiyab Al Marshoud. I mean, there is everything, you guys, literally everything. Um, I still work with OW Perfumes, who also sometimes has decent prices, sometimes better prices. Um, but for the most part, I mean, this guy's got it all. He's got all of the new releases, all of the old releases, and really fragrances. The the, the uh, link will be down in the description, Mohammed. So you'll find it in every description, and it'll also be in that new coupon code screen as well. Uh, so the code is Aromatics5, worldwide shipping, and I believe it's free worldwide shipping as well so let's take a look let's start off with the yeah i'm showing off the hidden gems man no longer hidden but uh no this website is relatively new, not new but uh in the structure that it's in now and the you know being able and capable of handling uh you know higher volume sales is why we initiated this because before so it wasn't really ready for it but um so here we go. Let's take a look at the first fragrance. I wanted to kind of showcase his website and see how accurate it is to a lot of the notes, etc. And we'll just see it together. I haven't really studied too much of it rather than just the platform and that you can search things up, etc. So first fragrance we're going to talk about is called Ihsas by Al Arabi Al Oud. Ihsas, I, from what I remember, was something fresh. I remember saying to uh, my brother, basically, a, a good friend of mine, that the viewers are always saying that I don't get enough freshies. So <laughs> let's get something fresh. But my fresh is like Sauvage Elixir, okay? So that's our fresh, bro. But um, here you go. So $99. I know that this one, I probably paid 85 
um, but you're not paying for the, uh, and I got it on sale as well, by the way, got it on sale for that much. Um, and not only that, uh, it's their national holiday, but you're not paying for Let's see what the ship, we'll get to the shipping, etc. But let's see. So description, are the notes accurate? So with this one, bergamot, apple, lily, the valley, roses, jasmine, yes, vanilla, cedarwood, miss, that's okay, cedarwood and amber. So if you look at the actual notes for Al Arabi Al Oud at their actual website, it's going to be uh, bergamot, green apple, rose, lily, the valley, jasmine, cedarwood, amber, and vanilla. Okay. So cool. Apple, green apple, rather than green, green apple. All right. Seems pretty accurate to me. So let's add this one to the cart and go from there. Let's see what happens. Let me let me stop sharing screen before you guys see my. Oh look, I already have a couple in my. <laughs> uh let me just double check something really quick i want to see how much shipping is going to be but um i mean i will be extremely surprised if it's free shipping even at a hundred dollars if it's free shipping at a, because he's shipping from kuwait dude it says free shipping hang on aromatics five i mean this is a game changer so aromatics five you take five dollars off it's 94 bucks Free shipping. How? How? <laughs> I really don't understand. How, bro? Hey, I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to complain. It is what it is. Let me let me finalize this. Let me see if that's the case. Hopefully, I don't end up actually buying it. But if I do, I'll just give it away. But let's see. Pay now. Did I buy it? Oh, no. I might have actually just bought it. Oh, okay. So it takes you to this screen here. Let me show you guys. So it takes you to this screen here now. And this is payment for, okay, this is his Shopify store. This is Kuwaiti Dinar, I believe. So 29.2. So USD is 94. That's exactly how much it was. So they have, uh, wow. Okay. And uh, that's what it would be. Just make sure because depending on your bank institution, they might do like a conversion fee. Okay. For me, but see, this already converts it for you. For me, I use JP Morgan, Morgan Chase. It doesn't charge me that. I wouldn't imagine it would be more than like 10 to 15 bucks, but you just, you want to be, you know, you want to make sure. But you could also use Google Pay. Let's see what Google Pay looks like. Uh, I just want to make sure I don't have any, or too many personal info. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Google Pay is the same thing as having your card. It's just stored information. So it's nothing. Pay now. Let's see. Did it work? I think that was an old card. I don't think it's going to go through. <laughs> you bought too much shit, man. <laughs> Declined. Let's see. I mean, oh, shoot. I actually bought it. How? Okay. If I get this one in, I'm going to give it away. So stay tuned. We'll see how long it takes. As soon as I get it, I'm going to make a short and we'll give that sucker away. I swear to God, it bought it. Look, <laughs> let me show you guys really quick. Oh, crap. I bought it. All right. No big deal. Let's see. Thank you. Thank you, Muni. How do I show you guys without showing you? I bought it. Okay. I bought it. Damn. I bought it. Whatever. We'll do a giveaway with it. It works and it's free shipping. That's what I wanted to confirm. I just took an L. Or a W. I think you guys took the W. I took the L. It's all good. I took it for you guys. Anyways, let's get back to the first impression. What up, Hidden Gems? How you doing? U.S. prices. Yeah, these are U.S. prices, Ben. So, that's crazy. Wallahi, that's crazy. I'm shocked that it's... Uh, okay. That's awesome. So, here are all the brands. When you go to the main screen, um, you have Al Marshoud, Ibrahim Al Qurashi, Dukhan... I have a couple of Dukhan fragrances. You guys, this is a big reason why I did not cover a lot of fragrances because it's not available. What the hell's the point? But now, that's it. Like, uh, I have a couple of Dukhan fragrances, which I haven't I haven't even, like, did real first impressions for. Look, I've got this yellow one. It's, like, hidden back here. I have not even sprayed this yet. Here it is. Okay. And uh, the white one as well. So... And I mean, it's fair prices. These are niche fragrances. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. All right. So with that out of the way, let me take a look at some of the chats. And uh, let's get started with Ahsas. What up, Buffalo Bill? How you doing, man? 
giveaway. Yeah, definitely we'll be giving that shit away. <laughs> uh, a Shatar Citrus. All right. Uh, bro, your wife never believes you when you accidentally say, I, I accidentally bought this one for real. <laughs> Uh, how many days does it take? I haven't waited for more than, I would say, about 10 days. And the way that this guy packages is A1 stuff. Uh, a seal special. Bro, they've got everything for some of the best prices. Genuinely. Genuinely. I'm telling you guys, this was my plug. The plug wasn't, uh, you know, on a, on a massive scale. But this is my guy. This is the guy I used to always go to. He knows it. Um, so, yeah, bro. Yeah, this, this website is actually special to me. This guy is special to me. I actually really care about this guy. So the fact that he's doing this is, is awesome to see it actually, you know, it was uh, words and it turned into something awesome. Shipping to free shipping from Kuwait to USA, Canada, Europe, Australia, and Asia. Even Europe. Like that's out, outstanding, man. Props. Kudos to you. Okay. So here we go. This is it right here. It was uh, 315 Saudi Rial. Alex, uh, hey Siri, what is 315 Saudi Rial to USD? 315 Saudi Rials is $84. And $84. So there you go. That's how much I paid for it. I told you guys it was eight, around 85 bucks. That's not bad at all. And that's the sale price, by the way. That was the sale price of this. So here we go. That's crazy. That's what's up. I'm all for it. So this is what we're looking at right now. It's called the Hisas by Arabian Oud. The box on this thing is nothing spectacular. This is one of the cheaper presentations. Oh, damn it. I got the receipt for the <laughs> for the, the second Hisas I paid for. Um, Arabian Oud on the back here. You'll see a Hisas. And it's it's really just in there. It's not even like... All right, not the best presentation, but you're paying under a hundred bucks. Under a hundred bucks for a Middle Eastern niche fragrance. That's crazy, man. Okay, um, here we go. So notes of this fragrance include, let's see. So like we said, bergamot, apple, lily of the valley, roses, jasmine. So it should be crisp and refreshing in the top, considering we have some uh, floral aspects, some citruses. Look at that pressurized, man. And then as this dries down, it should be something ambery, vanillic, and woody. Yeah, this is really good. This is I'm getting boss bottled intense vibes, but niched out. I definitely am. Yes, you guys are going to like this one. This is a very mass appealing. If you like boss bottled intense eau de parfum, this is like its grown up big brother in strength. In strength. This is him after the gym, basically. So yeah, really good. It's crazy because I'm actually going to be focused on a couple of clones for Boss Bottled Intense Eau de Parfum. I'm actually looking at the clone right now. I was going to record it. And I was in between recording that or doing this. I could taste this, by the way. And I did this. Yeah, Boss Bottled Intense vibes. Vibes. Vibes, okay? A little bit fresh at the top. Crisp. Some green apple. Very mass appealing. You can't go wrong with this. This is a really good freshie. But it does have some warmth as it's starting to like, you could feel it in the backbone. It's not going to be something that's just fresh. Uh, it's like uh, spring fall time vibes. This would be a great fall fragrance for sure. But also citrus is enough to uh, do well in the summertime and in the springtime really. Yeah, this is good. Simple, simple. It's not complex. I'm not going to sit here and keep sniffing it because like I said, it, it really reminds me of Boss Bottled Intense um, Upscaled times three. For sure. So there you go. That's what I think about Hisas. Let me put this one aside. It, you know, a lot of their fragrances are pretty complex. This one is not going to be a, a really complex one, but it's really good. It's really good. Greetings, Gage. How you doing, brother? Hisas means feelings. Yes, you are absolutely right, Kamran. Will you review Baby Cat? Sure. It's a little bit older now, no? But uh, I'm definitely planning on reviewing Inflamé. If you guys can see, I, I've added a, a few more fragrances. I kind of switched up Switched up the scenery on you guys real quick. So uh, we've added a few fragrances here. I'm going to make a top five amber fragrances that every amber lover should have because I've genuinely um, come across or discovered amber fragrances this within the last seven months that just completely changed my whole output on amber fragrances. I used to be like amber fragrance, like eh, whatever. But 
you know, some of the best amber fragrances. I bought them all, the ones that I absolutely love. One of them is extremely expensive, like Clive Christian, but the other ones are actually pretty affordable, but they fly under the radar. But yeah, these are some of the ones that we're going to be looking at uh, sixth place. We'll do that in another video. Hello, DMS Sense. Um, yes, Philippe, tomorrow is going to be the giveaway for Liquid Brune. The video will be launching in the morning. It's tomorrow's video. All right, next fragrance we're going to be talking about is called Only Blue. This is another one that I remember picking up because we need more freshies. Middle Eastern style. So Only Black, I already have. Let me show you guys really quick if he has it. He's got everything. This guy's the man, dude. So Only Black is a beastly version of Amouage Reflection, basically. It's a creamier version of Reflection Man. So for 100 bucks, it's Reflection Man, but creamier. Simple as that. There's really nothing more to say about this. Like, um, what's different? A little bit spicier and more creamier. Seems like there might be almond or something in here, but uh, yeah, Reflection Man. Yeah, basically. So there you go. That's what I think about black. It's not even worth doing a whole review. I probably will do a whole review just because it is a stronger uh, reflection, man. But I'll probably group it with the blue and do a separate video with the full review. But I've, I've rocked that one completely. So it's ready for a full review. All right. So only blue. Let's go into it. Let's check this out. Um, so notes consists of green apples, refreshing green apples. Okay, cool. Spicy cloves. See, this is how we do fresh, man. Spice. <laughs> Spicy cloves. Then we got orange blossoms. Orange blossom has been getting a lot of love recently. Uh, YSL Myself, um, Altair. Uh, what's the other one that came out recently? One Million Royal. Orange blossom is a really good, uh, it's a really good note in a lot of freshies, or more recently, I should say. Uh, so some soothing lavender. And then we've got tonka and leathery smell. Okay. Experience the allure of only blue. Here we go. Let's check this one out. Simple presentation. There's really not much to these. The only line. And this one was a little bit cheaper, but spice on a freshie, that's the best. I love spicy freshies or aromatic freshies. It's got to be more than just fresh or just fresh and aquatic. It doesn't work for me personally. So here we go. Only blue. A lot darker than the picture. That's for damn sure. Here we go. Whoa, damn, <laughs> not playing. Oh yeah, this is fresher than a sass. Whoa, I got a mouthful of that. This is fresher than a sass and I'm absolutely getting more aquatics to this. Genuine Blue Day Chanel vibe in this one. It's like Blue Day Chanel, man. <laughs> it's like Blue Day Chanel. Smells like Blue Day Chanel but strong. You guys, I think this is like a, a, another clone of Blue Day Chanel, but Arabian Oud doesn't make anything weak. That's the lovely thing about it. So who cares? Okay, even if it is a clone, in my opinion, when it comes from this brand, it's all good because it's strong. Yeah, it really does smell like Blue Day Chanel. The uh, Eau de Parfum. Nothing cheap smelling about this, just as just as I would expect from anything of this brand. This is Blue Day Chanel. Nothing more to say. Blue Day Chanel. Vibes, I should say. Vibes. I'm getting much more than the notes, that's for sure. Um, definitely getting much more than the notes, would say. Uh, let's see. So the notes say green apples, spicy cloves, orange blossoms, lavender. I mean, I'm getting much more than that. I'm getting bergamot, grapefruit. I do get some lavender. I'm not getting any of that leather that they stated. So let's let's double check with the Arabian Oud website for the validity of the notes here. Only blue. Please do like the video. I appreciate it. Okay, only blue. Here we go. So notes of only blue include, okay, so the notes are off uh, from Perfume 600, which is not a big deal. Um, so there's absolutely no leather. That's what I thought. 
So it's got bergamot, lavender, lemon. This is more accurate. Then we have patchouli, sandalwood, and pink pepper. Definitely getting these notes. Vetiver, oak moss, and musk. I'm getting a lot of the musk. So this isn't, I, I really don't want to do it disservice and say it's Blue de Chanel clone. It's in that vein. It's in that family of fragrances. It's distinctively blue. It's lemony. Sure, I got grapefruit whenever I was smelling the bergamot. Uh, bergamot is like a hybrid of, of a bunch of, bunch of those citruses anyway. And then there is some pink pepper. So a little bit of spices, uh, definitely some lavender here. And I get a lot of the musk and oak moss vibes. If you like Blue de Chanel, man, this is excellent. This is going to last. This smells potent from the top. Yeah, this is excellent. I actually want to give this a wear to give full review on like the uh, longevity. But you guys, I, I hardly have. Uh, okay, no, I'm not going to say that there aren't any Arabian Oud fragrances that don't perform. But out of, I would say about like 10, there might be one that doesn't perform. Genuinely, this is really good. Addicting, actually. Pretty addicting. Simple, mass appealing. No oud whatsoever, despite the name, but that's an excellent fragrance. Only blue. Okay. That's a W for sure. Sass is a good one as well. All right. Let's see. Athena. God willing in the future, bro. Do you prefer Sax or Neiman's? I always get them mixed up. Um, which one do I prefer? I forget, man. I'm sorry. I think Neiman's. Is it a same thing with After Effect? Rose Explosion was really good, but it's not After Effect. It's uh, Initio, uh, Musk the Roses, Rose something. Atomic Rose. Oh my God, bro. N miles above Iconic Club de Nuit. That's why I didn't want to say clone. Miles above it. This is actual quality stuff with Arabian Oud. What up, Kevin? How you doing, man? 100% legit. The coupon code is Aromatics5. Harun, what's up, bro? Uh, supplement routine. I've studied a lot of supplements throughout the years. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I try and take something that's just as clean as possible. So I personally take um, a pump supplement by Ghost. So Ghost Pump. And then I take a Ghost Legend for a pre-workout. But I do half a serving because one scoop is like 300 milligrams of caffeine i do half of that because i already drink a lot of coffee you drink a lot of coffee man in each coffee you shouldn't have more than like 300 a day uh, the rda is 400 you should shoot for 300 so the recommended daily allowance is 300 or 400 shoot for 300 uh so 150 in your pre-workout your cup of coffee is like 80 milligrams that's i mean that's crazy you're already at two something then you have soda which you probably don't even count for that's another 80 milligrams so you're already sitting at 300 and then people have heart attacks and they just end up dead out of nowhere. So you really have to count calories or uh, we should count those too, but caffeine, silent killers. Love you too, man. Colorado. Goat supplement. Yeah, ghost, ghost is awesome, man, because it's clean. It's clean stuff. Uh, BCAs, uh, citrulline, some other stuff. No huperzine, no cognitive function stuff, focus. and No, all of that stuff is uh, terrible. For long term, although huperzine is used medicinally for uh, Alzheimer's, I don't, I don't want to use that on a daily, like every single day I'm using Alzheimer's medication. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, let's continue on. So the next fragrance we're going to be looking at is called Black Opium is a good fragrance. It is a good fragrance. Suggestions uh, mm, for more masculine? No, love you too, man. But I don't have a suggestion for a more masculine one. But there is this one right here by Fragrance World. It's actually really good. This one nobody even really knows about. It's called uh, Demure. D-E-M-U-R-E. Lux. L-U-X-E. This is a really good black opium. But, I mean, honestly, dude, if you can get away with it, get, rock it. Yeah. Demure. D-E-M-U-R-E. Lux. By Fragrance World. All right. Let's continue on. Tanasuka's Beast Mode, three days. That stuff is crazy. Was Maloud. So I picked up this one and the white one. So I'm going to continue on here. Was Maloud. And this is what it looks like. So this one's a little bit more expensive. 
And I did pay a little bit more for this one, but you all, you can easily tell that it's a more expensive fragrance just by the presentation. It's actually pretty crazy. Ugh, Arabian Oud in their presentations, man. Holy smokes, dude. But I mean, come on. You're going to pay 160 for a polo. For, uh, is it polo? A 1 million fragrance, right? The big boy. And you're not going to get this. This is... I don't even know how this opens. Oh, okay, cool. This is a hard shell. This is uh, embossed. And it's textured. Shiny stuff. And there's a fragrance. This is all wood. Straight up wood grain on the top. See that wood grain? That's crazy, man. Well, I'm just going to throw it away. This is like suede interior. And it doesn't open. That's crazy. Um, kind of makes you not want to throw it away. <laughs> so bottle itself is pretty heavy in hand. I would say this is about two pounds. It's pretty damn heavy. The cap, oh, we'll take some toes out. The cap is snap-on, so it's not magnetic. Um, on the top, it says Al Arabi Al Oud, Arabian Oud. And let's see. All around it, you have these uh, Middle Eastern designs. And Wasm Al Oud on one side in Arabic and the other one in English. Let's take a look at some of the notes. So it says Cambodian Oud, Kashmir Wood, Gayak Wood, Amber, and Patchouli. Let's confirm this. I'm going to go to a club, wear this, and be like, isn't this the dirtiest oud you've ever smelled in your life? And that's how you get them, man. That's how you get them. <laughs> Ultra mall who? Uh, speaking of, let's say you're going on a date with a girl. What's your... What's my oud? Just straight up oud, bro. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, so what's my oud on the website? Official price is 260 Okay. And uh, let me take you guys to this site. Oops. No. Share screen. Here it is. Okay, so this is the official website for West Mal Oud, 260. Uh, notes are Cambodian Oud, Kashmir Oud, Gayak Oud, Gayak Wood. Okay. Um, so Palo Santo, if I'm not mistaken. Amber and Patchouli. Here we go. Crazy blasts. Oof. <laughs> yeah, this is good stank, man. Wow. Holy smokes. Wow. Wow, my eyes are open. <laughs> this is good. Damn. This is quality Cambodian oud smelling. Smelling. If you're not into this kind of oud, you know what you're going to... You're going to think this smells like acetone like nail polish remover. That's kind of what you get with like this type of Cambodian. This is strong ass stuff. Wow. Acetone in the top. I personally can see it for what it is, Cambodian oud, but I can see getting better as it dries down. Holy smokes. This is real stuff right here, man. I mean, granted, it's probably got like, if it has oud, it's like 1%. Um, realistically, you know, at these price ranges, you're not going to get anything with like a hefty amount of real oud, if any at all, sometimes. But I mean, even like a droplet of oud would be more than enough. So 1% is actually plenty. Stream quality, not so good. Why is that? Okay, let's uh, let's double check on the stream quality here. So it looks like everything is fine. Uh oh, hmm. Let me give it a second. <sighs> We're gonna give the stream one more second. It looks like the connection is having some issues. So, wow, this is crazy. Instagram, let's check out what's going on in Instagram. How are we doing? You're good, David, all good? Okay, cool. Let's continue on. It's been fine here, excellent. I got the little uh, Wi-Fi signal sign that says it's having i have perfect wi-fi everything is good but um cool all right so that's basically what this one is man it's really strong cambodian oud fragrance there's a lot of cashmere musk or cashmere oud and just straight up cambodian oud if you don't like animalic oud don't even bother with this one seriously 
But if you want a real smelling Oud Cambodi, yeah, wow. Top dollar smelling stuff when it comes to Cambodian Oud. My God, that's strong though. That pierced my brain, not my nose, my brain. I can feel it all the way up here. All right. I'm going to try and answer a lot of these questions at the end, okay? I'm going to lot, I'm going to lot about 10 minutes in the end and answer all of the unrelated questions. Just so I can make it more interesting for those that watch it later, guys. Okay. White one. Stay tuned, though. Stay, stick around, and I will answer as many questions as I can. White one. So this one is called Wesm al-Musk. So that was Wesm al-Ud, and this is Wesm al-Musk. Wesm al-Ud is not safe. It's not safe, but God damn, it's good quality. I was not expecting Like, I, I remember smelling it, but damn. Let's see. Westman Musk. It's taking a minute. Here it is. 185. Finger lime. So limes that have been fingered. Ambrette, frankincense, cedarwood, rose, iris, now, now we're talking. Terry, what's happening, Terry? Now we're talking. Some iris, white musk. But I mean, the most interesting note here is the finger lime. I think you guys would agree. Sick bottle uh, presentation. This is crazy, man. If it... Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I mean, I can't stop the stream right now. Screen got fuzzy. Damn. Okay, we're having some some technical. It doesn't seem like this is gonna open, guys. <laughs> we just get like right here in it. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those limes have been uh fingered. It's right there, man. Finger lime. <laughs> All right, so Chris says to give it a soft shake. It might just be off. Is that soft enough, Chris? <laughs> Chris, it's not how it's not working. Oh, we got it. Damn. All right, well, finger limed it. That's for sure. Damn. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, and then nobody got time for that. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Let's check this out. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay, this is good. This is good. It's reminding me of something. Why didn't this open? Oh, well. This is actually really good. So, lime, for sure. Lime and iris, I'm getting immediately. Very natural smelling. Smells really freaking good. Powdery, musky, citrusy, citrus powders, and musk. It's really good. It's really good. This smells clean. This smells very clean. I wanted to say it's white musk smell, but it's more than just white musk, obviously. It's pretty simple, like as the notes would say, but the way that uh, <laughs> shit was definitely wild, bro. Uh, yes, it definitely does. <laughs> but. Um, so look, it's as simple as white musk, but it's done much better than just white musk. So for those of you that want to smell like clean, uh, musk tahara, this is essentially what it is, but it's more than just that. It's better than white musk tahara. I actually just got a vial of white musk tahara. This is much, much more. Where is it? Here it is. So straight up white musk. If you, uh, you know, a lot of Middle Eastern people or women, gentlemen, they like to use white musk. Bahara. It just smells like cleanliness, soapy, white florals, soapy. This is much more than that. This one has a little bit of um, uh, obviously some of those florals, but I get like a woody nuance and the lime and the lime. Something a little piney. I would think it's from the frankincense for sure. Yeah, it's definitely from the frankincense. A little bit piney with a vanillic undertone. Uh, very interesting white musk fragrance. Not overtly complex, but it's extremely high quality. It's justified in the price tag. One of the best white musk fragrances I put my nose to. And white musk is relatively simple. 
Um, with this, you would generally layer it. With this, it's a complete fragrance, genuinely. Seasons for something like this? Okay, that's what it reminds me of. Inisho's Musk Therapy. There you go. Inisho's Musk Therapy is like white musk pahara, except it also has a lot of those florals, whereas this one does it in a similar way, but on a different track. Like if they're both walking same lanes, this one's in the right and this one's on the left. So they're doing same thing, uh, but this one does it with different uh, surrounding nuances compared to musk therapy. This one has more emphasis around the frankincense and some of that iris and the lime. But if you like musk therapy, this is going to be up your alley. So there you go. Spring heaven right here. This is beautiful for the spring. Fall time as well. And even during the summer, you can easily. Yeah, fabric softener vibes. More than just that, though. Much more interesting. Honestly, I kind of like, do I like this one more than musk therapy? This is stronger than musk therapy. This is stronger than musk therapy. So I don't know. It really, it's up to you guys. I have to wear it. First impressions, I can't really give you a definitive answer as to yes or no. Um, but this is really good. Much thicker than musk therapy. So there you go. I'm just giving you guys some resemblances, man. So like when you buy these, I don't genuinely believe that either one of these are like distinctive clones, but it makes it easy. You know, it makes it easy when somebody tells you, oh, it smells like uh, something, you know, like Spice Bomb. Oh, okay. I know I love Spice Bomb Extreme. So if it even goes in that direction, then I, I probably want to try this. I wish there was a way to sample some of these more than just blind buying because then it puts places more of a responsibility, which I do feel by the way. And uh, I'm always genuine and honest with my reviews, but with these types of fragrances, I try to emphasize the descriptions even more so because, I mean, blind buying is a serious, like, uh, I want to make sure that if it were me watching me, that I got the most out of me that I could have potentially get, given. So I do take a lot of that into consideration, man. I take this very seriously, very seriously. So I'm trying my best, but please do keep in mind that this is first impressions, okay? Um, aside from that, this is the least safe. Oh my God. I swear to God, I still feel it. I still feel it piercing through my brain, but it's good. It's really good. Let's check out Ihsas. What up, Alpha Dog? How you doing, brother? Infinity Rose, it's excellent. If it's okay for men, it's a very natural rose fragrance. It's going to smell very feminine. All right, back to Ihsas. Yeah, man. Boss bottled intense eau de parfum vibes all day. Strong as hell. Twice the potency of Boss Bottled Intense. Ehsas is a great one. I don't know where I'm going to... Let's put it here. Am I going to wear this one? Honestly, probably for a review. Because who doesn't want... Yeah, so let me not put it away. Let me not put it away. I, I shouldn't put any of these away. I should do a full review on all of these. All right. Only blue. Let's see what this one's like now. Blue Day Chanel, like strong as hell. Only blue. Fantastic fragrance. Don't even compete. Like, doesn't even compare with Iconic. Uh, that's just something else. I'm not even going to bother. And, I mean, we just smelled. It's getting even, even more white musk. Thick, creamy musk. Yeah, it's different. Clean, though. Clean. Okay. That's pretty much it, man. So check them out. Perfume six perfumes with an S 600.com code aromatics five. You save some money. This guy is crazy. He's got international shipping for free, which is absolutely insane. And you can save some money with that code for almost every single fragrance I've ever purchased from him. Literally, these are from him. So that's where I bought them from. So it's a, it's a really good day. It's a really good day for for us, honestly. Now you guys can actually get your hands on some fragrances and get really try something new, you know. But don't go too crazy. Set a budget because um, definitely can be. It is an expensive hobby. I just bought Sass, another Sass. <laughs> um. So yeah, take your time. Blind buys are rough, man. Blind buys are rough. So I'm gonna try and bring more now. Now that they're available, more reviews. Um, please try and you know uh, take. Uh, you know, pay attention to some of the descriptors I use when describing some of these fragrances. And if there's more interest or most interest for certain fragrances, maybe we'll just put it in the comments, et cetera. And if I see a repetitive request, I'll bring that one up sooner. All right. So let's see what's going on. 
Uh, my boss bottled in is getting low. Yeah, man. Discontinued. But okay, so I will tell you, there are a few cl clones of that coming out. I mean, it's not going to be like this, though. This stuff is potent, but cheaper. Oud code? Stay away. Don't do it. Terrible. It smells like dust particles. These are the two Arabian Ouds that I've recently worn and would say absolutely hell no. Um, Centro? It smells great, but you're not going to get more than an hour and a half to two hours. So don't even bother. Touch this one. And Ihsas smells like an old, dusty, freshy. So these two are no-goes for sure. Um, there's another one that I rocked recently. And I've been this is ready for a review, actually. About seven hours of performance. But it smells like a Middle Eastern version of YSL YEDP. Uh, a little bit more of a muskier, aromatic YSL YEDP. This one right here different yeah let me put these aside i'm still gonna make a video with those two of arabian oud not to um hopefully the video quality is good not sure a couple of comments i see a couple of comments of the video quality uh getting a little bit hey i appreciate you dan god bless you bro god bless you man love you too homie Uh, fab, yes, actually, for a lot of fragrances, yes. A lot of designers in niche, not really, but uh, for most cheapies and stuff, they're usually very fresh. So, yes. I have tried Busma Blue. It's a pretty um, natural use of, like, cardamom. It's like this cardamom-based fragrance. Where is it? I'll have to revisit this one soon. Yeah, I get a lot of like fresh, light cardamom vibes. I'm, I'm going to do an actual review with that fragrance. It's a good one. Not bad. Good. I was wondering what you think about Al Ariq. I'd never tried this one, bro. Love 4 a.m. in India. Saw on the gas palatial. That's actually a good one. Uh, It's good, man. It's good. If you can find it for cheap, don't pay too much for it. If you can find it for cheap, it's good. Spectre Wraith, I swear to God, if they don't come out with that in March. I'm, I'm done talking about that. I'm done, bro. <laughs> oh, God. Best version island water clone. Clone-wise, I don't know, bro. Nitro Green. Yes, absolutely. I've actually been uh, testing this one more so recently. It's a really good Ultra Mall. It's a really good Ultra Mall. It contends very closely with uh, Afnan's 9 p.m. Bro, I want Mexican tobacco. I even went to Ibrahim al Qurashi, the store, and they were out of it. They're like it's limited run or something like this. But it's one of the most in demand, I guess, and for good reason. Speaking of, you reminded me to pull out Cuban tobacco and put it away. I don't know. I think I'm going to clear this shelf out. And yeah, okay. Liquid Brune 2, bro. Liquid Brune 2. BL, can love you, man. <laughs> Appreciate you, homie. And welcome. How old am I? Joe, what would you what, what would you give me? Like what would you what would you guess, bro? I think I said what would you like seven times. I'm tired. Jack of Clubs, what can you say about it? I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Projection's actually excellent. I'm sure some people can help with the answers in the chats, their experiences. So, um, yeah, why don't you guys, some of you guys that have Jack of Clubs, share your experiences in the comments. I think it'll be more valuable than just me. For me personally, I love it, bro. Uh, for me, I never got less than like eight hours of performance and projection for me was fantastic, uh, especially the first two hours. So let's see what people see. Bro, we're all the coming perfume. The, yo, this hobby is getting bigger and bigger, by the way. People are actually getting into fragrance. It's crazy. A lot of people were like ashamed, you know, especially guys. Like, I've got fragrance. Like, what? Like, who do you talk to about having colognes? But it's getting crazy. Yeah, me too, bro. I saw a lot of new Qusla perfumes. Yeah, man. I saw a lot of them. Of course, man. I try my best, brother. I'd give you 25. Freaking love you. I'll just take it. Yeah. 
Um, Jack Club got me compliment from a random person at Costco. Hey, that DNA is a really good one. It's a really good one. My man, top three next releases from Fragrance World so I, I can buy for men. Definitely you want to grab uh, Liquid Brune. You absolutely want to grab... I mean, honestly, this is pretty unisex, so even ladies can rock this one. And then um, Spectre Wraith is really good, but it's not for everybody, though. Black Phantom. But those are the two that I could really think of that I really want to uh, get into. You know what? This one right here, Spicy Amber. I smelled this one at the convention, and I liked it. Iris Empire. Uh, yeah, the Carolina Herrera, right? The one I bought on the way. Yes, I got you, bro. I'm going to do a first impression on this one and amethyst haze i don't even remember what they smell like bro honestly so i'll do a first impression video completely for those two and then the next one is going to be for the uh ysls in flamme that's actually going to be my scent of the night so let me oh my god this is so good you guys this is so good it's like warm ambery tobacco vanilla powdery Oh, sheesh, man. It's almost got like this ambery, musky Dior Ohm vibe in it without actually having any, like, iris, I believe. It gives me that same, like, powdery vibe. Oh, my God, man. Of, like, Dior Ohm Parfum vibes. That's Inflamé. Let's look at the notes really quick, Givenchy. Man, it's crazy, but you have to like powdery fragrances. I, honestly, this one pushes the boundary for me with powdery. Like, it's borderline it might be a little too, too powdery for me. Let me show you guys the notes on this one really quick. So, actually, this one, the 200 ml, it goes for like 425 at the store. I bought this from the Riyav, uh Duty Free. It's 360 so it was actually significantly cheaper. Look at the notes of this, you guys. My God. Tobacco, vanilla, coffee, sweet, warm, spicy. This, seriously? Seriously? <laughs> when they do this. Why have you done this? Let me see. Givenchy and Flamme. Yeah. And this is a part of the La Collection Particulaire, I believe it's called. That's all they list, bro. Wow. Ridiculous. Nah, man. There's much more to this. Okay, here we go. So we've got um, labdanum, tolu balsam, embers of coffee absolute, patchouli. There's more to it. There's more to it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. So top, we've got uh, Spain and Portugal labdanum absolute. This is inflamé by Givenchy. Um, let me show you guys the picture while I tell you guys the notes. This one. And then we've got Brazil Santos Coffee Absolute. And then in the mid, we've got Tobacco Absolute. I mean, these ingredients are crazy. Uh, there are a lot of absolutes. This is expensive for a reason. And then we've got Indonesian Pichula Prisma Essence. And in the base, there's Madagascar Vanilla uh, Surabs, Sur Absolute. And then Salvador Tolu Balm Resinoid. Yeah, there's some serious ingredients in this one. So you can absolutely sense it. Amber Woody fragrance. My God. Whole nother level though, bro. Whole nother level. Are you going to do any more public reactions to fragrance? Believe it or not, Mohammed, like I love doing them. It doesn't really get that many views. Not many people care to see them. But I feel like the people that do like to see them love to see them. You know? Yeah, I have no problem doing them. Honestly, I love it actually. I like getting the reactions. And honestly, like thickens your skin when people say no, or you know, you're like, all right, cool, whatever. Just by Anaqid, I hope you enjoy it, bro. I love that one. King of Diamonds smells like Bodicia. Cool. It's like really close to Narcosis by uh, Vertus. But if that's if you, it's good quality stuff. That's at the end of the day. You only. What do you think about the shadow? I think it's one of the best quality clones of Ombre Nomad, but people have been complaining about longevity, despite it being an x straight de parfum. Pickpocket, I appreciate you and thank you for sharing, bro. God bless you too, man. Le Mal Elixir, I think it's a good one. I think it's a good one. Uh, was my favorite. 
But uh, I don't know, man. More so recently while wearing it, I'm not enjoying it as much as like funner fragrances. Like Green Paradise or uh, Paradise Garden, I enjoyed wearing it a lot. I don't want to say it's my favorite, though. But Le Beau, Le, Beau, Le Parfum is... Uh, honestly, they're all great. That's how I feel about them. There isn't one that's just like must have. You know what I mean? Oops, I just undid my, my, my watch. But yeah, I think it's a good one. And the thing, you know what set me off with Elixir? From, from saying it was a must-have to now being like, it's good. I smelled it on someone the other day, and I wasn't blown away. I wasn't blown away. I was like, that's the, what you're wearing? I was actually like, oh, okay. I was pretty underwhelmed. So here we go. Spicy Amber. I really want to open this one because I remember sniffing it and really liking it in Dubai. Was not planning on this. And Siri is listening to me. Why? Huge freaking bottle. It's the Mattieri. Whatever. Not bad sprayer. Whoa. Yeah, that's some serious niche type of stuff. There's a lot of pink pepper in this in the opening. Quality smelling for sure, but it's very spicy. As stated in the name. Actually pretty close. It's not as spicy as the actual, the real one. By Metieri. But it smells really good. A lot of pink pepper. You have to enjoy pink pepper. Pink pepper and ambers. Simple as that. It's a good one. But it's very um, specific. Niche DNA for sure. With this one. Spicy amber. Yeah. Like ground pink peppers. Seriously. Not bad. Spicy. You have been warned. Uh, oh, dude. I love it. I love... Yeah, see. Bad Boy Extreme I actually really like. Safari Om. This one smells a lot like Pegasus. And the note of almond gives me a headache. So I don't really like it. But it smells a lot like Pegasus. Any fresh fragrance without the smell of detergent? Yes, plenty. Do you want like, uh, gotta be a little bit more specific than that. Like Middle Eastern, do you want fresh aromatic? Do you want fresh uh, oceanic? Do you want aquatic, basically? Do you want fresh sweet? Because uh, it can go like you stated in multiple ways, you know, like fresh, you know, laundry or fresh floral in, in the sense that you're talking about, it would be fresh floral. So without the, the smell of detergent is generally coming from the florals. Uh, biggest culprit sometimes could be like iris, lily of the valley. Is it redundant, bro? If I have iconic and tarathi, they're kind of different. They're kind of different. But it's in the same family. But if you like that vibe, so those vibes go for it. <clears throat> I hate Versace Eros. Cannot stand it. Flame, good. Mandarin Sky don't have it, bro. Inshallah, bro. Yes. I think they are a legit seller, um, but they're just overpriced. I probably purchased from them one time. One time. It is legit, though. I, I know the owner. I've met him. So it is. What ha what's going to happen if your perfume has an expiry date? Just try and use it before then. Um, really depends on storage. Sometimes they just have to put a, a, a expiration date. But, and they usually put it five years, but it's usually the shelf life is like 10 years. Keep it away from, oh, this actually got much better. Spicy amber, much better. Much more ambery. It's starting to balance out. I'm getting something a little bit piney, balsamic. Some frankincense vibes I'm getting with this one. Spicy amber. Now it's like uh, pink pepper, frankincense, and amber. It's a good one. I like Versace Eros EDP. Not, okay. Uh, though Pacific by the hand smells similar. Cool. I, I, I could never get into Versace Eros, bro. The mint note just put me off. Imperium or Qaid al Fursan for summertime? Both of them are meh performance, but. Um, Qaid al-Fursan is much more playful. 
much more like fruity, easy. Imperium is like more grown, upscaled. So you, what are you? Are you grown and upscaled? Do you want to smell like, you know, more up class and dressed up? Or do you want to just like an easy banger? Dressed up, dressed down, whatever. That's Khaled al-Fursan. Imperium is more so like I'm dressed up. Like I look good. I feel good. I'm money. You know, but both of them you should keep around you because you're going to have to respray. But they smell good. Cherry Oud, yes, man. Luis, it's that one. I don't know if it's out yet. It's called Ambrios by Fragrance World. I just did a short on it a couple days ago. I don't think it's out yet. It smells just like it. it. Smells like cherry uh, hard candy, bro. It smells amazing. Iris is a Iris Empire is a top three Iris frag for me. Davy, so I fell in love with the opening on this Iris. I just remember very vaguely getting more of like this earthy Oris. Um, I love Iris. I love even Oris, but when it goes a little too earthy, sometimes it can be off-putting. So I'm still going to like wear it, wear it, or do like an actual first impression because I literally just sprayed it that day and it's like, oh, I smell Iris. Done. Buy it. Give me. Um, there's another one that I really want to grab. Bronze Tonka. Bronze Tonka was amazing when I sniffed it there as well. But the other one was the Amethyst Haze that I grabbed it. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Jaden. He's asking, has your taste in fragrances changed over your life? Absolutely. Absolutely, bro. Sometimes a fragrance, and that's completely normal, bro. Just as if, you know, um, two years ago, I probably wouldn't have eaten red peppers. Today, um, I eat red peppers regularly. I cook them regularly. And that's just the way of life, you know? That's just the way it is. Tastes change. You get, you know, you lose interest in something. You gain interest in things. That's how it is. It could be different motivating factors, etc. Um, yeah, like for example, I used to love the note of almond. I used to actually love it. And I used to wear it so often that it started giving, I guess I developed allergies. I used to love eating garlic. Okay. Like garlic paste, the middle Easterns, you guys know, I ate the shit out of that. I used to eat it so much. I literally became allerg allergic to it. And, um, now I can't stand it. So yeah, tastes absolutely change, bro. Including fragrances. Yes. Uh, I haven't tried French Defense and Gambit, but Mind Games in general, I have never gotten outstanding performance. Some of their fragrances are outstanding. I love Gardez. Queening is good for women, but the fragrance performance on some of them is... I do planning on getting more Laverne. Was interested in their Naxos clone. I've already did a full review on that one. It's coming very soon, but King Tobacco, that's exactly what it is. Naxos. Fantastic, man. It's got its own little you know, vibes, et cetera. I love twists. I appreciate twists. And when they do it with a higher quality fashion, I'm all for it, man. That's exactly what it is. It's called King Tobacco by Laverne. Cheaper, bigger, and yeah, man. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. But, you know, with Naxos, I don't get more than about eight hours of performance. That's pretty much the same thing. I've smelled damn near every single one of them, bro. Damn near every single one of them. I have a top five coming out for them soon, actually. Um, I'm sorry, bro. This is asking for a lot. Oh, okay. What? Wait, hold on. Please recommend one perfume from each brand. Okay, you're giving me a couple of brands. Fair enough. So from Ahmed Al Maghribi, for me, it's going to be Mozun. I like sweet, spicy. So Mozun smells like uh, vanilla. It smells like Anisha's Oud for Greatness vibes. Not the same thing at all. Uh, Vertus Vanilla Oud vibes. Uh, so yeah, Saffron, vanilla, uh, Overdose of Vanilla, and Oud. Love that stuff. So there's that one. Ibrahim Al Qurashi, Blueberry Musk for me. And Qissa Perfumes, Calabria. That's my top for those, bro. Um, you said Blue Laverne Tobacco like Naxos. Are you sure? Yes, bro. To me? Yes. Even go look at the notes. It's tobacco, honey... Uh, it's similar vibe. It's not 100%. It's not an actual clone, but that's the same family. You will be surprised. <laughs> it's really good, actually. Really good. Yes, Jimmy Choo Man smells good. Believe it or not, Urban Hero is uh, very different. Urban Hero is very different. It's actually pretty animalic. Like, it's like Jimmy Choo trying to test the waters of like niche uh, style fragrances. I'm not going to say. Pretty animalic, different peppers. I think they use some... I don't know exactly what they use. Uh, Blue Sapphire Clone. 
no buts. Blue Sapphire cloned this fragrance right here. And this fragrance right here came out before. It's called Al Qurashi Blend by Abdul Samad Al Qurashi. And let me see if he has it perfume six. I'm sure he does. Because I bought it from him. And you know what? The two piece set, the one with the noir, which I never even sprayed, he has it, which is rare, by the way. The black one, it's very rare. Let me show you guys. So, yeah, you can get the two piece set, comes with both of them, the same size for. Oh, he only has one unit left. Let me show you guys this doggy dog now. <laughs> but yeah, the black one I have not even opened yet. And uh, it's pretty, pretty rare. This is it. Al Qurashi Spray Blend Collection. Blue Sapphire took its inspiration from this, bro. And in this box, you get these two. They're both 50 mLs. That's what I have here. They're not small, bro. They're not small. It's a lot. And these are beastly stuff. Um, the oil, the small thing right here is exactly the same juice, just in an oil concentration. You know, speaking of, does my taste change? Yes, it absolutely does because I could not stand this DNA, but I'm starting to really, I'm really starting to like it, like it. And I think I'm going to eventually end up falling in love with this one, but it's very challenging, very complex. It's not, uh, not easy. Let's see if he has any more. Al Qurashi. Just by its own. Oh, yeah, he does have it on its own, bro. So you don't have to buy. But see, look, you're better off going with the two piece because you get something that's rare. I don't know what it smells like. But this one, you get 30 mLs more or uh, 40 mLs more, though, if you wanted the full size. Full size for 189. Only four units left, too. Wow. It's a hot seller, man. It's a very high demand. And, uh, and a you get it. Milestone, how close is it to Creed Imperial? Milestone was one that was a little bit controversial on my channel, at least because one of my friends bought one and he had a bad bottle. And for a little while, uh, it took me a little bit to confirm it, but he did have a bad bottle. It's, it's actually decent. It's decent. How close is it? It's like 80%, 80, 85. Millicim Imperial by Creed has a refinement that Milestone does not touch. But it's close. Nitro Red or a Moth Hunter? Oh, Nitro Red. The quality. That's why. Very easily. The quality. A Moth Hunter. Oh, my God, bro. I cannot ever wear that. I cannot wear that. A Moth Hunter, you sure you're not talking about the... Uh, it's like an Invictus clone or something like this. No. Our, the Nitro Red is better quality regardless than any of those Hunters. What up, potato? Ghulam. Qassa Imperial Valley. Ahmed Maghribi Qaf. There you go. There's some more suggestions for you. Maghribi Qaf. If you like freshies, you're going to absolutely love Qaf. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with uh, Cedra, bro. I can't. Let's see if this guy has Cedra. He doesn't have Cedra either. I don't know what's up with them, bro. That's why I just. I stopped and I, I didn't even put it there because it's like nobody can even get it anymore. So it's like, whatever, bro. There is none. There is no good clone of Alexandria 2, bro. I'm sorry. It's right here. I have the 100 ml of that bad boy. It's pretty good. I don't have this one, David. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. I like red tobacco and it's not anything like royal tobacco. No, I like red tobacco a lot. Actually, uh, it's more similar to fragrances like Herod. That's it is what it is. Herod is much more refined and smooth and uh, sophisticated, but it also is not as projecting or strong. Oud of Oud for glory, Oud for glory, Oud for glory, strong as hell. Club de Nuit Siage. I don't have that one. I don't like Silver Mountain Water. But um, there's a better one. It's called Armoff Odyssey Gold. It's a better clone. It's the best clone of Venetia's Oud for Greatness. This is the strongest one. Armoff Odyssey Oud Gold. I have not tried this one, brother. Ombre Tabac. Kelly Matt's Black is pretty good if you like ambery based. I think it's ambery based fragrances. I have it here. I never really sprayed it. It's a little bit older of a DNA. 
but I will be doing first impressions on all of these. I, I'll be with this. This has changed the game seriously, significantly. So <laughs> I love this. No, Luis, that fragrance just came out, dog. <laughs> uh, Anisio's narcotic delight just came out, bro. <laughs> by the way, by the way, I just filmed my uh, full review. It's going to be coming within the next two days. I promise. There's so many, so much content, not enough days, I guess. Great, great blessing to have. But anyways, uh, Narcotic Delight, the fragrance scent-wise, a freaking 10. Performance, longevity lasts for two days, like a day and a day on clothing, like to the next day. But man, the sillage is like not there. It's just terrible sillage. It really upset me with how I could not get wafts. Like the only way is like if your date, you know, it's cold enough for you to like put her inside your coat with you. She'll smell you. Otherwise, forget about it. So. But it smells good. It smells amazing. Just wish it projected a little more. Clive Christian clones, man, it's going to be, I wouldn't even suggest it, man. They do use high quality ingredients. I don't like a lot of their fragrances, but their, their quality of ingredients is something else. Mohammed within the next week, bro. Am I doing it? I have a lot of their fragrances, by the way. I have about four of them. Uh, I do plan on reviewing these Memories Gold and Smash. These are the ones that I absolutely fell in love with. Smash for sure. Smash, I love this one. Very unusual. I've never smelled anything like Smash before, by the way. And this is like straight up vanilla syrup, Memories Gold. So, yes. I will be. No clone of Alexandria too, bro. Sorry. Hell yeah, you can pull it off during a date. Um, Kayon Classic, you absolutely can. What about Ben Sheikh? Ben Sheikh is excellent. Super strong. Marriage is, is great. Be doing Islam? I'm not crazy. Bye. I haven't visited actually. I haven't visited in a while. Man, I'm telling you, there's a lot of Ahmed. Ignite Your Oud is fantastic. Blue Oud is also great. Bin Sheikh is phenomenal. They have great fragrances all across the boards, honestly. Across the boards. What's one of the best Rose Oud fragrances? This is a phenomenal one right here. It's called Rosewood, but it's pretty feminine, this one. But it's as simple as you ask for. A Rose Oud. That's what it is. Rosewood by Arabian Oud. A lot of imitations for this one. I'm not sure which one came out first, but it, but uh, Montel's Intense Cafe or whatever smells a lot like Rosewood, by the way. Or the vice versa. And Far. Yes, I've, I when I went to their booth, I tried a lot of their stuff. Oh, no, absolutely not, Jack. You're right. It's probably time we start wrap it, wrapping it up. Sean, for me, it never took more than like 10 to 12 days for the shipping. Um, Jay, it's in every description. You'll see it in the description for my YouTube videos. It's, it says order my fragrance. You'll see it there, brother. Yeah, Qurashi blend is on another level. It's different. It's crazy. Crazy. Hypnotizing fire or rehab? Um, no. <laughs> Simple as that, bro. There is not. Rehab, uh, rehab smells a lot like Spice Bomb Extreme. So just go for Ode Spice Extreme, Mark and Victor. This right here. Go for this by Fragrance World. Smells a lot like uh, Spice Bomb Extreme, which also smells like rehab for summer tarathi or cough or nitro or clone for nishani honestly you can do all of those for the summer i don't like aquatic like aqua de joe perfume or lacoste white at all you can wear all three of the ones that you mentioned for the summer bro i don't like you know i'm not crazy about aquatics either the only really aqua de joe that i liked that was decent is like aqua de joe profundo but i would rather wear every single one that you mentioned before it first. Tarathi, I'd wear it first. Off, 
I'd wear nitro red, I'd wear before all of them. Lazuli, bro. CN is actually, uh, CN, uh, Lazuli is actually one of the better ones. And Neroli Riviera by Fragrance World. Neroli Riviera, Rivera, and Lazuli by Al Watania. Sphinx Mango Licious. Are you talking about the mango? Mango Licious Hibis Storm. Yeah, this one, man. It's good. It's damn good. There's a lot of hibiscus in here, though. It smells like if uh, hibiscus Mahajad had babies with like mangoes. It's crazy. It's different. Yo, Oud Marcuja is strong as hell, bro. Strong as hell. That Inflamme is crazy, bro. It's like everywhere right now. The one that I sprayed on me not long ago. But Oud Marcuja is actually pretty, pretty damn strong. I bought these four for like 120 bucks. Crazy. Oof. Wow. That's strong stuff, man. Inky. I mean, like, inky oud, bro. Whew. Damn. Um, oh, at the Philippines. You're in the Philippines, bro. I'm sorry, man. I don't know how to help you there. Check. Uh, I don't know if TikTok will ship to you, but on my TikTok. Sorry, bro. I don't know about Philippines. Vasasi, it's essential. Is it good? I've had it for a long time. I mean, it smells good if you like, like, why sell low team. It's good. It's good. I think it's good. I actually think it's a really good deal, too. Especially, it's a discontinued fragrance that's back out. You guys, after this, I'm going to go make me the fattest omelet. It's not even funny. <laughs> uh, need a clone for Prada Ocean. I agree. We do need one. Eau de Parfum. Pistachio fragrance? Yes, Ken. Um... There's a fragrance rolled one too. It's called Luscious. It's creamy. It's not as weird as affection. Latafa's affection. That's a good one. Latafa affection. Sharaf Oud Azraq is fantastic. It's Oud and honey. I actually like it better than the original. Montal's uh, Oud. Honey Oud. Honey Oud. I have Rosewood. It's amazing. Yeah. I knew so. <laughs> proud of you is probably just the original um stronger with you but you know what speaking of i just filmed the review for the best stronger with you original clone it's right here where is it i'm gonna, I'm gonna smash all these boxes man Ugh, this is it Axon Intense Eau de Parfum. Axon, A-X-O-N, Intense by Dumont. This is so damn strong. It's like somewhere in between Stronger With You, the original, and Intensely because of how strong it is. It's, it's really sweet, really freaking sweet. So this is it right here. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. Let me put the light on it. There you go. Axon intense there's ultimate and ultimate by the way is also phenomenal ultimate for me personally is better than rosasi hawas uh dumont has some sleeper fragrances you guys genuinely um so yeah these two are really good ultimate right here and uh intense both of these are from perfumebox.com code aromatics if you want to save but those are really good Luxury laundry pods with fragrance. Um, honestly, I've seen those, but I don't use them because then it's not going to, I can't review the fragrance. Got cough last night. Two sprays, got a bit of a headache. Like, going to let it sit, little, sit a week. You, you know, it's very strong. It's very strong. But um, some people either love, see, for me, bro, if I remember, I sprayed four times and got a headache, and I was like, I can't, I can't spray this more than twice. But you only spray it twice. That's crazy. Uh, 
Uh, Mohammed's asking what got me into fragrance the first time and what was your first fragrance? Bro, I've been into fragrance, honestly, um, since I was a, like, I mean, since I was a kid, man, my parents used to burn incense 24 seven, uh, oud oils, perfumes. I mean, they used to perfume me as an infant probably, but, um, yeah, incense burning perfumes. It was just, it's just culture. It's just daily life for me, honestly. Uh, yeah. So I've always, I was grown to be. Frederick Mall the night. That's pretty animalic off of memory. I don't remember, bro. Suturta, is it good? I. It's been a long time since I bought it. But yes, when I bought it, it was great. There is no clone for Mystic Experience. Sorry, bro. I did not try any Barara yet. I have got a fire, but is there also a clone of it? There is a clone of it. It's the best one is from Alexandria Fragrances. It's actually going to be a part of the top 10. It's called uh, Fire of God. Prada Infusion Diome. No suggestions for that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this live stream. The uh, perfumes600.com, again, is the website. Code Aromatics5 to save. They've got literally everything now akr have not tried Alyssa ashley tonka musk i'm sorry i'm sorry um so to wrap this bad boy up i'm going to answer this last question uh nitro red definitely nitro red but give us your top three clones right now for men top three clones right now ah, man do i have to tease you guys even more liquid brune <laughs> i'm sorry i swear to god i'm sorry tomorrow is going to be the giveaway video okay Actually, not tomorrow. How many hours? Yeah, in about eight hours. I post a video every day, 8 a.m. So it's going to be the, the giveaway video. Make sure to enter that one. Another clone, top clone for men. Uh, I Honestly, Nitro freaking red. Nitro red by Dumont. Under 30 bucks. I think it's 35 bucks. And then for me personally, this... Damn, man. Solario. See, people are so sick of the Hamra DNA. But I have to admit that Solario Epic is one that's like pretty pretty epic so there you have it that's the top three right now please don't make what don't forget to hit oh okay yeah please don't forget to hit the like subscribe and all that good stuff and the waf the king review is coming up very soon uh did i try only black yes i did i said it was a reflection man stronger reflection man thank you guys love you have a wonderful weekend and until the next live stream